I have nothing to say. Well, I have, Mr. Judge. Mm. Now, look. Your country's at peace. It isn't perfect. Nothing is. But for the moment, it'll do. <laughs> Who for? You or them? The government is fascist and corrupt. The alternative is communism. Which is your choice, I'd like to know? You, later. What good is later to hundreds of innocent people being held in jail? There'll be a lot more, won't there? If you fail. Who says that I'm going to fail? And what about the others? The ones that are going to be killed? The young people? What about them? Mr. Curtis. Some people would rather live one now in freedom than a century in slavery. My people need me as I do need them. Are you sure? Are you sure it's not just because you're aware that the whole world is watching you? And you daren't lose face? You have very little chance of succeeding. You know that. You said so yourself. If you took my advice, you'd take them, those two, and get the hell out of it before somebody gets you. Very clever man. What a waste that you are an evil one. Oh, God. Is it evil to try and help you to help your people? One day you're going to go back with us behind you, and you'll succeed. But this is not the time. Sinister. Why don't you just keep your party frock in it? Two years ago this April, you negotiated a British government loan for Alexander Diakim. Now I'm going to tell him that you've been authorised to cancel it. You mean to say we went through that whole dreary boy in the bed routine just for that? If you needed me, you could have asked the Foreign Office. As far as I know, they'd be prepared to cancel that loan at any time. And offer him that? Half a million dollars. Bonus. Oh, I see. A bonus. You mean you want me to bribe, dear Kim? Misrepresent my government? Act behind my minister's back? You see? I did need that boy in the bed routine, didn't I? You're the bloody end, you really are. You know, you're so busy creating false impressions and doing conjuring tricks. I don't think you know what the truth is anymore. The truth's what I make it. Pride, as the man said, comes before a fall. Yes, as you should know, Mr. Lord. We won't mind staying for the evening service. Let's time up.
When he said the truth is what I make it. That's when I knew I'd had enough. So what are we gonna do now? Well, it's not gonna be easy. But I think we try and smash up his whole plan. Yeah, and have a scarred kill Alex? Well, maybe we can fix her too. Look, any time now, I'm going to have half a million dollars in my hand. I'm going to offer them to your friend Diakin. What do you think he'll do? I know, he'll refuse. That's what I hoped you'd say. So if we played cool and careful, the money's ours. Half a million dollars might persuade Melissa Lascar to aim crooked. Hey, newspaper man can get away with some pretty funny stuff. But you, uh, you have an important career in the government. Do I? Don't you? Curtis made a deal with you. How far would you trust a Curtis deal? Mm. Those photographs will be following me around for the rest of my life. Oh, Charlie, for God's sake. Nobody gives a damn anymore. I mean, so you prefer men. I, I happen to like women. Some guys even go for sheep. Well, I don't think the sheep would go down too well at the foreign office. <laughs> Thanks for trying all the same. <laughs> no, you may come out of this in one piece. I'm damn sure I won't. So at least I'm going to try and give myself the satisfaction of nailing our lovely Mr. Curtis to the wall. OK. Then we better get started. Distrusting you, didn't he? Oh, I was a schmuck not to see that coming a mile away. Scott, supposing he's right. You know he's not right. But uh, there will be fighting. I can't pretend there won't. Since when did anyone get one minute's freedom without fighting for it? Hundreds of innocent people will be killed. Youngsters, children. Alex, there's never been one man in history who hasn't had these doubts before his moment of truth. Oh, God. This trust you all put in me. I have a deal with Curtis, and everything to gain if I see it through. You don't really think he's going to honor his side of the bargain, do you? Oh, come on, it's hot enough in here without that. Well, take off your clothes. Don't you get cheeky with me, girl. He's got you now. He'll keep on using you. He'll never let you go. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, others will be freed. 
That doesn't make you a heroine. It makes you a bloody fool. And a dead fool, most likely. Well, a dead fool won't need your money. Inshallah, stop talking like an Arab. It doesn't suit you. How much is it worth? To risk my life? More than you can pay. Half a million dollars? Cash? Well? You could buy your boyfriend out of jail for half of that. You think we can trust her? If she gets the money. Thank you. Look, we've got to trust her. We've got no choice. Otherwise, she's going to blow his head off. She'll take the two o'clock boat, the one that does the round trip, and stay on it till we get to her. It's a hell of a risk. Half a million for half an inch difference in aim. It's a risk we've got to take. Where's Jenny? Old Ethel. Actually, I seduced him. Now he's running around town in a blonde wig and pearls. Where have you been? Just taking in the sights. Lovely little town, isn't it? Well, I don't know where he is. I thought he was supposed to be following me. You stay in this room till I collect you. Adams! Oh, goody. Beefcake at last. Tomorrow morning, 9.30 sharp. that bathroom? Yes, yes, of course. Allison, come out of there. No, we're very happy where we are. You want to see Alex go back and win, don't you? Oh, my God. More than anything in the whole world, but the time is wrong. Right. Yeah. I may be late. I don't know. It's the right time. It's the only time. Listen, is your life threatened because of what you believe is right? Well, I think we all have to do the best we can in our own way. The band's a hell of a lot easier than the sword, isn't it? And neither you nor I are going back to face a whole goddamn army. If you're not coming out, I'll break this door down. Do you know why I love Alex? Bettina, I know you love Alex. He's a great man. I love him, too. That's why we... I value him. Do you? He's not only great, he's honest. It's a very rare quality. Yes. He's the nearest thing to an answer I have ever found. That's why you've got to help us. We've got to fight. We've got to kick back in any way we can. Otherwise, you know what happens. The Curtises take over. They always do. I'm sorry, sir. You took us both by surprise. Obviously. Alison, you can talk as long as you like. You're with us, aren't you, Bettina? Have I ever been anywhere else? Oh, he's such a powerful good. He's got to live. He will live, and he will win. I suppose the world needs you. Maybe even me. So where do we go from here? I love you. OK, you have to be out of this hotel by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Somewhere where they can't find you, but I can. He won't take this money. He won't even consider it. A receipt. See that he signs it. You'll notice that your name's on it as well. You could be forgiven your little predilections, but uh, misrepresenting your government is quite a different thing. What kind of a man are you? Practical. I may need your help one day again.
Good morning, Mr. Lord. Good morning, sir. Very nice to see you. Sit down, please. <sighs> it seems that Mr. Curtis not only knows about my emotions, but my conscience as well. I still owe you a lot of money. Sir, nobody in London's the least bit worried about that loan. <laughs> but I am. You know the kind of games Curtis has been playing with you, sir? And you know why? That's a very nice gift, indeed. And you're also empowered to cancel the loan, I suppose. Please don't think I'm here representing the Foreign Office. I'm not. Only Curtis. There are conditions attached, of course. Oh, of course. Of course. I'm not sure I can win this fight, but... I certainly don't want to be assassinated or spend the rest of my life in jail. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you think I wouldn't like to take all this and simply disappear? Is it a question of what you'd like to do, sir? No. No. Spoken like a diplomat. And now we come to the conditions, right? You know what happens if I sign this? Oh, yes. They blackmail you with it for the rest of your life. I refuse. Excuse me, just a moment, please. Sure. You were wrong. He nearly didn't take it. Nearly is not a word I know. Alexander Diakim, of all people. Yes, Diakim, of all people. Receipt. You had it here somewhere.
and get him back to the car. Owing to destructive action by subject lord, I now consider the situation to be an emergency. Request your permission to motivate insurance A immediately. Curtis to control, emergency three. Out. Sorry for that and get it off right away, will you? I want the scud. We're waiting to hear from Muller. What about the child and the mother? Uh, they're ready to go. I'll get down to the station, put them on the first train to Paris and phone the father. Yes, sir. And wait for me at the airport. Uh -huh. This man needs a doctor uh -huh. now. Uh -huh. I'm responsible for his condition. I'm not a surgical nurse. Lily, I'm responsible for everything around here. Bro? What luck? Not a thing. We searched the hillside, but nothing. Okay, forget it. But half a million dollars. Don't worry. If there's only one thing that Alison would do with that money, you take charge, man. Not a button, not a fingerprint. Strip it! <laughs> Where are the Englishmen? Curtis shot him. So it starts. 